I recommend grabbing one of those and just uh, stuffing it down your throat. Maybe get some biscotti. Dip it in some coffee, you know. And that's really all you need in life. Well, everybody, I think that we might be ready for the game reveal. Yeah, so crappy. How about you take us away? Take it away. Yeah. So everybody, we have multiple GMs who are here choosing the various games that our players get to play through. And honestly, I am very excited to see the game. So please, after I get this set up so that we actually can hear the person who is our GM, please welcome on in the GM for game number one, Zandra Vandra. Vandra, hello there. Hello, hi. Oh, oh my gosh, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Stomach's good, being good. a little bit of a butt, but you know what? I'm rolling you know with it. I'm rolling with the punches. That's my stomach every single day. Uh, oh. At this, well, you know, I've got. Uh, that's why I got the cat skin. Didn't understand oh. why there were so many cats, but you know, I just yeah. rolled with it. Yeah, you got. You got to do what you got to do. Surprised they fit them all into that can too. That's wild. <laughs> Surprised they fit me into the can. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Zandra, honestly, we're always excited to have you here uh, uh, because, you know, uh, now that now that we're past your, uh, I believe last year was your first year being a GM or was I it the year it was before? The year before. Oh, oh well, yeah. yeah. So technically, so yeah, yeah. Technically, we, so far, I snuck in at the very, very finals. Oh, you to sneaky. give a game and <laughs> sneaky. But yeah, five, five was my first one. Yeah, thank goodness. I, I mean, we finally drained you of all the Mega Man, so, you know, you're Absolutely. able to give out other games at this point, yeah. and it's been really There's interesting to see what you have. Yep. Well, so... I... <laughs> okay, so funny story. I just... Okay. <laughs> you know, last time I gave out, like, the first game I gave out for Kusa Granny's Heaven was, like, Super Mega Man, and... Gosh darn, I just... I It just... <laughs> I just can't let it end on a cliffhanger, you know? We gotta see what happens in Super Mega Man 2. It's true! Super 2 Mega Man. Super 2 Mega Man with Super part of the loading Mega bar. Super 2 Mega Man, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, as it turns out, there... Yeah, as Chad says, there's always more Mega Man. That's pretty much true. Uh, and honestly, y'all, you're just gonna have to live with it. Yeah, what, what did you think this was? A game for non-Mega Man? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's also me. I do have other non-Mega Man games. It's just, you I know, I, it. I will... I Yeah, it's just as a backup in case someone has played the weird, weird Mega Man fan game. Yeah, honestly, you like know, it. occasionally you do manage to sneak in... Uh, ooh, lots of typing there. Uh... Oh, Occasionally yeah, sorry, you sorry, do yeah. manage to get uh, a different game in there, and that's great. But at the same time, there are just so many Mega Man games in this world, uh, so many Mega Man fan <sighs> games. I love to see the wide variety, and I actually got to play some of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I, I'm very grateful that you were able to like make sure this was up to like Kusur Grande snuff. Yeah, by the way, everybody, I accidentally quit out of the game three times without saving, so uh, that was great. The players are going to hopefully not do that, though, as they get through this. The wonderful thing about this game, though, is that in addition to uh, having... Oh, jeez, you've got so much typing, Xandra. I'm so sorry. I should, I should put myself on, like, type to talk. Put, no, type, that's gonna make no it the worse. opposite of that. Oh, put, sorry. Put, yeah. Talk, type to <laughs> silence. Types. Si yeah, typing of the quiet, please, not of the dead. Okay, sorry. The <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is this Mega Man. Uh, as it turns out, has a wonderful combination of keyboard and mouse controls. So even yeah. if you do map everything to your keyboard, you're gonna eventually have to mess around with the mouse, and that is. Yeah, mess with the mouse. You uh, get the cheese. And unfortunately, Sorry, whenever I, I, I launched into my one-liner. 
That that's why you that's, are Xander. It's it's fine. Yeah, Everybody that's, that's has what their I own say. stereotypes. Yeah, that's what I say. If you ever if we ever face off, like if I ever if we ever face off in a fighting game as like fighting game characters and I win, my character will look at your like beat up character and go like, you know, mess with the mouse, you get the cheese. And then like, you know, you have to continue nine, eight, seven, and so on. So. I'm just uh, painting no, you a mess with the house. No, mess with the mouse, I get the house. That's my No! My house! Yeah, because I win. I'll lose my, my house. My house now. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's How okay. are you gonna Oh I, oh, I had the whole crap, thing I set up. I, I had that one bottle cap flipped upside much... down to use as a little table in there. How much is the mortgage? That's my question. Uh well, you know like one toonie will last a very long time considering it's about the you know like this just it's like one you know man will last a long time to a mouse so yeah it's like it's it's yeah it's, oh, wait, it's wait, pretty, pretty 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 would have a mouse sized house okay yeah yeah i don't think i'd fit oh yeah well oh geez dang guess i'll have to keep my house well See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. By the way, everybody, I did get to play this because uh, we had a wonderful little GM party earlier on Thursday. And by party, I mean we sat around and basically just played games and talked. And uh, Xandra had three of us play this, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm so glad. I, it, it, was all, it served as, like, making sure the game, like, worked, but also it's just fun to hang out. Man, it's just community. It's great. Yeah. Did I real? Oh, my gosh. Somehow. Okay. This is dumb. Why did my stuff? Oh, okay. Somebody is changing the size of their screen. Okay, I'll go ahead and wait for them to adjust. I, That's okay. I thought that I broke everything, but it turns out that was a lie. Okay. Because guess what? We have four players. Plumbo, White yeah. Panther, we have Hazel Shade, yes. and we have the Great Gilder Sneeze. One of the nice. fantastic bad game connoisseurs of our era. Mm. Uh, you know, I watched the whole series of Palumbo recently. It's great. Like, later seasons kind of get wild, but man, I just, you gotta love seeing like the the, the the reveal at the end, like how did you do the murder? It's just great. Wait, no, I misread. What oh, does I'm that so have sorry, anything to do with Mega Man? Nothing. It's just. It's... I'm so confused. No, it's no. There's no Columbo Man in Mega Man, unfortunately. There might be. <laughs> Could be. I, I wouldn't wait past someone making this though. Yeah, there might be. Oh my gosh, a Columbo Man. That would be pretty amazing. <laughs> you, you, yeah, like, sec, like, like uh, one more thing. Double, like, second health bar comes in. No, dang it. That's how he gets you. <laughs> Man, I never get tired of hearing the Mega Man 2 music. Also, I, I did, I did introduce this game it's as good. like, I put the Super in quotes. Like, have you played Super Mega Man 2? And then everyone, you know, justifiably thought this had anything at all to do with Mega Man 2. Beyond the title screen, it does not. Well, everybody, I know that you have emotes that have to deal with Mega Man, so get all of your favorite Mega Man emotes. Okay. And spam them! Your favorite Mega Man emotes. I'm sure you have multiple. Or enough your Mega Man favorite. emotes to pick your favorite. Yeah! Get spammy! Oh, look at the spinning Mega Man. That one's a good one. Oh, Mega that's Man so good. 3D. That one's so good. Three-dimensional Mega Man. D did you ever think that could happen? Well, as soon as I, I see didn't. movement... And there we go. We've got movement and a text box right at the beginning. That is so small. What does it say? Yeah. Uh, it was something like... Oh, man, I forget. I probably should have, like... Uh, it's Proto Man, written right? Written down. I think, yeah, I think Proto Man's saying something like, like, Hey, Mega Man, I'm leaving for a bit, so don't stir up any trouble, or something like that. Hey, Mega Man, I'm going off because you've been so naughty, <laughs> and I'm going to go away for a little while, so don't no, cause see, any I, trouble. <laughs> no. I, 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 see, I always, 
I was kind of like very much influenced by Mega Man X4, which has actual voice samples for the like the two for like you know X and and Zero. So I tend to like say Mega Man with a little childlike voice because that's usually how he sounds. So I I kind of extrapolated that in my mind, Proto Man is always like like the cooler older brother trying to like act even cooler than he is, and then. And then Wally's just here. Wally hey, has his Mega Man. I'm Proto Man. I'm gonna be <laughs> beaming up to space. <laughs> so you better be a good boy. So, I'll say, question, oh, yeah. how do you okay, slide yeah, yeah. in this game? Because I do see the, the, the various players sliding. Yeah, you can slide. You press down and shoot. <laughs> okay, oh, which, let me oh. just tell you the number of times I died because of that. Yeah, yep. that was great. Yeah, it's, you you want to know an extra little fun wrinkle about putting slide on the on the down and shoot instead of down and jump? Sure. It only works with the Mega Buster. By the way, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, it looks like White Panther uh, accidentally went to the store, which is fine, but managed to go yeah. to the save menu. Good. Yeah, it's important. How do you, you leave save the save game? menu though. Uh, you, you have to, you have to, okay, you have to move, yeah, you move the cursor to the right, and then you select end. Uh, that's, that's, so how it's do a menu you choose boss. a boss in this? How do you choose which level you- click it with you... your mouse. You click it with the mouse. Okay, <laughs> let me just tell you how angry that made me. Because I don't <laughs> want to be using my mouse when I'm choosing a boss. I know, I understand, yeah, it's, surprise, there's, it, this game uses the mouse, but only because making a cursor when you're like, okay, so that's the thing is, Game Maker, click and play, like Construct, a lot of these things, they have ready-made objects for platforming movement, super okay. easy. Oh, Menus, yeah. no. Like, how are you gonna, you have to create an entire new thing where like you're controlling your cursor. And with enough experience, sure, you, you, you can think of like many, many ways to do that. But when you're just starting out, you have no clue. So you just, well, I mean, it has a, the game, the and, model has a, I can click, so let's just click. And tutorials would be very, fairly limited at that time. You know, this is, when, when was this made? Let me look it up. I do have, a wonderful little instruction booklet. I oh, have you have the uh, you have the instructions right? You have the power. Uh, oh, I guess I did by. actually download and play this game, Maybe so you... I guess I have info somewhere. There's no copyright, but the actual hmm. No, it's, it's copyrighted question. by Capcom, actually, per the, yeah. per the text oh, file dude. that came with the game. This game is copyright Capcom. Thank you, Capcom, for making this game. Mm. <laughs> now, actually, I, I can respect people who make fan, fan games and basically say, you know, Capcom owns all of the rights to Mega Man and uh, uh, everything. Uh, and mm. I, I think that that's completely fine to acknowledge. Uh, who originally made the game, even though everybody knows Capcom made Mega Man. That's just the fact. Everybody knows. Everybody, even your grandma. Everybody Echo. knows. Everybody knows the <laughs> I wish I knew that song more. It's a great song. I don't know the lyrics. Uh, which song? Uh, everybody Knows by Lynn Cohen. Oh, I wasn't... I, I was thinking hey, look, of bass. something else, I think. Oh, bass! It's bass! Back up there, Back up! And you're like, get in the way! This is the only time bass shows up with, like, a custom text box made only for him. Yep. Although, although folks can't see, or can't always see, but the rest of the, like, uh, text in this game is handled via a pop-up window that pops up in Windows. Oh, it's Man. boss oh, time geez. for White Panther. That was wow. a quick death. Oh, but if White Panther okay. has extra lives, it's not a huge deal. Honestly, yeah. you can just damage race this boss. It's not a. Oh yeah. It's not very difficult. This is Warp Man. Warp Man likes to warp. That's what he does. It's in and the then name. the the warp the, the warp bubbles shoot out uh, rolling cutters for some reason. I don't know. Eh, it's complicated, you know. So yeah. here's oh, the deal, goodness. White Panther has killed Warp Man and takes the lead. Now the other players are having a bit of a hard time making it through this game. What's the main difficulty that they're struggling with, do you think? So, uh, it's like, the controls aren't as janky as most other fan games I've given out, but this yeah. game has zero coyote time, 
which makes it a little bit trickier for like precise platforming. Uh, also, uh, you know, the 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 the, the, ice, the the knockback isn't that bad. It's actually like a fairly competent game. It's just uh, a lot of the enemies tend to be a little bit of like a bullet sponge, and uh, the stage has Joes, which means that uh, Joes suck. Jo like especially in this one, they're just like it's hard to hit them without getting hit in return because they're yeah. invincible most of the time and you are invincible all of the time. It's true. Uh, mm. One thing that my main difficulty when I was playing this was that uh, when you're doing any sort of platforming, it's got the issue where the jump doesn't feel quite as responsive as you would like it to be. So most of the time, like, if, if you see anybody doing any of the precision platforming, usually what they're going to be doing to do it successfully is when they jump, they jump from a standstill, and then when they land, they will usually pause before doing anything. Uh, White Panther mm -hmm. has been doing this pretty reliably and therefore uh, has oh. been making a decent amount of progress. Bumbo has unfortunately hey, kissed the spike. Gilder is on to Warp Man, and oh, this, I mean, yeah. he might be able to kill the boss, like, right now. That that would put Gilder <laughs> into <laughs> second place. There we go. Bumbo, oh, unfortunately, the getting the death. Yeah. I do love that, like, there's no difference between dying and game over unless you've made it to the boss. Oh, there's yeah, this Spirit Man is so hard to see, but I guess he's I a ghost, you know? Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's another thing I should have brought up. Uh, this game does not have checkpoints except at the bosses. So if yes. you die at any point, just you just knock back to the stage select. Gilder is starting to get a little bit greedy, by the way, and it, it makes me worry a little bit. I think, like, oh my gosh, this, this platform. Yeah. It's so hard to do. I, I was trying to play this at first using keyboard controls, and that was a big mistake. Uh, yeah. Mapping the keyboard, like, Mega Man is not made for keyboard unless it's Mega Man DOS, you know? Mega Man is made for... Oh, man. I recently, I played a remake. Like, someone remade, made a fan game of Mega Man DOS 1 and 2, like, 1 and 3 as, like, a whole game, and it's really good. Uh, oh, yeah, also... Gilder! Got greedy of the fish, got ya! No! White Panther Aww. moving on to the next stage and having fun yeah. with this side. So, White Panther pickaxe. actually doing the, I think it, it might be a side, yeah. But you do, okay, actually using the boss weapons, very important because this game does not have weapon energy because that would be hard to program and require a whole bunch of other pickups and stuff. No, not no, that just hard. Infinite use of all the weapons in the game, which means you should be using them, or at least the good ones, and I, I don't know, I hope I didn't like, you know, uh, you know, front load them with the awful weapons. I, I hope mean, I didn't do look, that. Look, the first weapon that you gave uh, is great against the second boss, against Spirit Man, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that is, Warp Man is Spirit Man's weakness. Spirits don't like to warp. Yeah, you don't, listen, if you ever, okay. Um, I'm not if saying this, a ghost. in case, if you ever meet a ghost, percentual, I don't know why I would give you this advice. I don't know why you out of all any I, people would I've be like, more inclined to meet Yeah, I meet yeah. ghosts all have the time you, in video games. Have, yeah. Have you tried telefragging them? Because ghosts hate to be telefragged. They can't stand it. They need to add that to phasmophobia. Like, haven't done mm. it. No. Yeah, also, White Panther, unfortunately, falls prey to Blue Proto Man. <laughs> So, fun story, everybody. You see Proto Man who appears blue? His name is actually Blue Proto Man, so we're not just Man, making yes. that up. That is his no. name. <laughs> I've, given, I've given you a a, uh, a screen from the intro of Super Mega Man 3, which we're, we probably will never appear in Kusa because oh, okay, it's actually let, pretty good. Okay, let me go ahead and put that up in the middle here. Yeah, it's, this is, it's this very is one of the important. first things that greets you when you start making Super Mega Man 3. Okay. It is specifically... As soon as I can get to my downloads and get the picture up. Okay, Super Mega Man 3. Here we go. Blue Proto- Mega Man, how do I know Blue Proto Man will try to kill me? I don't know. I don't know. The first thing Mega Man says to his therapist. That's what I talk to my therapist all the time about, about Blue Proto Man. <laughs> She's like, you're just imagining Blue Proto Man. He's not real. He's not real. Don't worry about him feels real. 
He feel he does. Yeah. It's like he's real in our hearts and also White for Panther using the scythe right. weapon in order to get that free extra life. I didn't actually think of yeah, doing that. Right? I used the right? slide to get it. Yeah, same. And then I also I died. Just immediately died. Yeah, yeah same. Yeah. But you you All can right. actually slide and then go backwards. It's just you have to be a little bit more precise. Okay, blue proto man time. I love how the screen you can't even see the ground while fighting no. blue proto man. This is this is okay, multiple times this game will try and fail to maneuver the camera in specific ways, and therefore you won't be able to see the ground. Even if there's spikes, you can't see them. It still is pretty ambitious, though. Ooh, White Panther, are you gonna go for the extra life? Yeah. What are you laughing at? Because uh, the the side like like boomeranged into the life, brought it back, and then deposited it on the other side inside of the wall. I just, <laughs> just... okay. I didn't actually see that. That's pretty yeah, amazing. that was quality content. You so, know, and this this is where I this is where uh, players feel the sting of betrayal because I've set them up with the like you know weakness for the first boss. Uh, yeah. But um, no, oh, it's actually White Panther's doing pretty well. <laughs> Plumbo yeah, just this... got base showing up very nice. Honestly, yeah, um, the... I, I feel like with this boss, uh, it's a little bit. Not quite a puzzle boss, but I, I think we're going to see a couple deaths during this. White Panther did yep. take the time to get extra lives, though. So yeah, that, yeah, it's important. Really important. I'm, I'm excited to see them like, uh, we, like do some like weakness hunting later on because I've, I've, I don't automatically, I have not given them the, the weakness order. I've given them the most jank to uh, highest difficulty order. Now, remember, everybody, to slide, it's down plus... Oh my gosh, the refill sound. I, I love that. I love it when the boss lasts long enough that the music loops and the health refill is part of the music. Okay. Yep, I had the, to the initial health out. refill. Yep, it's part of, like, like... Yep, that's just... It's looping music is hard. It is. By the way, Gilder, I think, is actually doing fairly well. We may see yeah. Spirit Man in just a little bit. Uh, yeah, Spirit Man's stage being a little bit rude Whoa, because it's like slide. shaded darker for some reason. And that was a long slide. Yeah, uh, because it's down and shoot, it's very easy to chain the sides together, which uh, in some cases, completely fine. <laughs> when you're fighting a boss, not so good. Because no. honestly, you just like, most of the time you want to slide and then mash attack as soon as you're out of the slide. Oh, look. Oh, there goes Spirit Man Gilder. Moving on to Tell stage three, to Plumbo on to stage two. We've got a very clear separation of the four players. White yeah. Panther on stage four, Gilder three, Plumbo on stage two, Hazel stage, mm. Shade still tackling the first stage here. I also, uh, White Panther showing some really cool, uh, like, you gotta love Sludge Man. You gotta love Sludge I Man's hate, stage. I hate. It's, it's a big pile of Nickelodeon gack. I actually really like it in some areas, like where White Panther is. You've got to figure out how do I get through this? And the answer is you go ahead and go to the bottom of that because there's actually a floor in that area. You will not die if you sink to the bottom. Yep. Yeah, so, so, sometimes you will die. Some of the areas before that had sludge will absolutely drop you into a pit. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, by the way, everybody, there are unique weapons in this. Uh, however, there is no actual ammo, so there's no... Oh, no. Oh, no. Blue Wait, Proto White Man. Panther jumped out? How did White Panther jump out? I tried. I don't know. I don't Blue know. That's, that again. was like... Yeah, that the, the single perfect. tile hole is so hard to drop into. I tried to jump out of that and did not manage to do so. Okay, Great Gilder Sneeze has fallen to Blue Proto Oops. Man. Which Careful. is understandable. Um, it there it might be possible to get yourself like soft lock into a wall in this one, and in which case the way to get yourself out is uh, well to press escape and then load your game. Yeah. Uh, oh, if there my is jump. a soft lock, we can go ahead and tell people. Oh no, Gilder! 
No. Honestly, that jump right there is more yeah. difficult than you would think, just yeah. because of how the jumping works in this game. But it's, Gilder got yeah. the extra life, so it, it balances mm -hmm. out fine. Lives don't matter too much until you make it to the boss, though. White Panther does not yeah. like this jump. <laughs> It, it, it is a little bit difficult to... Yeah, it's... it's the, the, the controls aren't the best in this game. White Panther's trying. Yeah. I, I think there White Panther go. can do it. Oh, almost. Oh. Wait, did you see him? Oh, there. I think I'm about like two seconds behind you. I'm going to have to refresh. Oh, I shouldn't also. Yeah, everybody, we got a spoiler that White Panther made it there. I'll, I'll refresh all the streams. <laughs> we had a little lagging. That's okay. Oh, sorry about you know. that. I'm I so I, upset I, I, that you I have spoiled a, it for us. I'm sorry. I have a tenuous relationship with, like, linear time. Oh, okay. That's yeah, cool. I, I'm always doing things despite, like, to, 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 you know, despite past Xandra and to, like, you know, like, set up future Xandra for, like, a bad time. That's just what I do. So, no, fun I story. Uh, we were talking to all the people who are playing this game, and I'm... Most of them really haven't played Mega Man, like, at all. Yeah. <laughs> so that's they like are even super better. and they have played like... Mega Man 2. <laughs> yeah, one of them had played the original Mega Man 2 for 15 minutes, and that's literally all that they have played when it comes to Mega mm. Man. That doesn't really matter too much in this game, though. Mm. Like, knowing some of the rules of Mega Man can help you, but honestly, like, look at Plumbo. Are you supposed yeah. to jump in this? Yeah, it's 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 rough and Ooh, using also, the warp, sh that was a good idea. Yeah, right? Warp Clever, man's weapon can clever. get you out of difficult situations. <laughs> and I, I I love I love Chad is pointing out, I love the fact that Sludge Man's weapon is just throwing giant bombs. Sure. Throw the giant like cartoon cartoon explosives. That's what a sludge man does. I never actually like figured out a use for Ooh. those, by the way. Yeah, Plumbo is through stage two, on to stage three. Gilder still trying to battle this mm. boss here, and it's... Oh, look at the games on Hurricane Man. I, I use Warp Man occasionally on this climbing level. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. We're starting to get to some of the excitement here. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Gilder trying to use Warp Man against Blue Proto Man. Will it work? I don't know. It's hard to tell because Blue Proto Man does not have a health bar, which means you just can't tell how effective a weapon it is. I do like that Gilder managed to warp <laughs> past Blue Proto Man right into the flame. Yeah. Yeah, the, the sight, like, I, I think that except for bosses, just... Or against yeah. enemies that you know are... Like, you gotta experiment a little bit, you know? Trial and error. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that's, that's the problem is like, okay, some mid bosses in this game are weak, actually weak to some weapons, but it's hard to tell because, again, you don't see the health <laughs> bar. The fall. Oh, I love it. No! One of my favorite things with uh, vertical platforming uh, is when people manage to get comboed in just the right way to fall a significant mm. amount. Like, uh, I, I feel like it can be a little bit rude to make it so that people fall all the way to the bottom, like in some early yeah. platformers. But, like, having a hole placed in just the right place, mm. it's so satisfying. I, I don't know, it's sort of like the La Mulana falls to your death. Those are always fun. Oh, wow. Oh, the, this game has a TV tropes page. Body. Yeah, I love that. I actually haven't checked the TV tropes page. Oh, no. Okay, so White Panther is in the room where you can't see the floor, and those were spikes. Yeah. By the way, yeah, everybody, uh, this is a fan game. If you couldn't tell, Super Mega Man 2, this was made by... Uh, somebody who really likes Mega Man and honestly, yeah. you know, even though it has its flaws I think this game has a lot of charm as well. If we get yeah. to see any of the Wily stages You will see what I'm talking about oh, because man. Uh, like oh. I love some of the mechanics that show up I never played them But I saw them on some of the other players streams during the GM hangout that we had Ooh. Thursday Yeah, I I'm, I'm just I really spoil. surprised this game. Yeah I'm just really surprised this game is the TV Tropes page. That's wild. Do you have a TV Tropes page? I saw that. Uh, 
I think there actually is a Cusa Grande TV Tropes page. I definitely oh, nice. didn't make it, but somebody did. Oh. Weird. It's weird to, TV like, cool. Google stuff and be like, wow. Okay, I guess yeah. we're on TV Tropes now, everybody. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I, I have a TV Tropes. I am on TV Tropes. I have a TV Tropes page. Oh, cool. Someone Gilbert else also is made it. on to the boss here. I think Gilbert yeah. is probably going to have a few deaths. None of the weapons work, huh. or none of the no. new weapons work against this enemy. No. Uh, Sludge yeah, Man, though, I believe Warp Man works. I'm not a... Not it's, Warp Man. It's okay, it just dunks you into a very tricky position, so it's, like, actually not any better than just spamming your buster. Because, again, these bosses do not have iframes. Iframes are hard to make. It's, it's oh, yeah. miracle enough that Mega Man gets iframes. Iframes are notoriously hard to program. Oh, oh, Gilders. Yep, Gilders picked up the pattern. Okay. Yeah, the biggest thing, you have to learn how to do a slide. Uh, mm. And not only that, how to leave your slide pretty quickly. Uh, and yep. just, like, if you keep trying to mash while holding down, mash shoot while holding down, you're going to end up <laughs> making a mistake. But Gilder has cleared Joltman, <laughs> maintaining his second place position here. Yeah. Solid performance. Yeah, that was a great job. Yeah. Honestly, I'd say if you make a fan game and it comes out like this, you should be proud of what you did. Yeah. Uh, this yes, is this really... game has flaws, but, you know, there's a reason that it's coming out on round one because, like, it is jank, but it's fun jank. I really enjoyed playing yeah. this. It's like any any fan game that like goes to the trouble of creating a whole bunch of like new robot masters and weapons and stuff to get yeah that's an achievement that's super cool very creative yeah not <laughs> only that but like the slime mechanic like it's a little bit like some of the sand in uh, Pharaoh Man stage but you mm, know having to program yeah. these mechanics on your own oh White should, Panther yeah, found the weakness be pretty, pretty happy about it. Gilder yeah, just needs like, to learn how to mash in order to jump out of the sludge. Yeah. yeah. The uh, White Panther just demonstrated some of the mini-bosses will usually go down in two hits if you find the weakness. Otherwise, it just takes like, I don't know, like 10, 12, 20, a million. <laughs> Gilder trying to use right. Warp Man, and that's not All a right. terrible light. You can jump out, you can jump out, it, it's fine. Ooh. You just have to mash right. I mean, le yeah, come on, you can do it. Oh, folks are asking, uh, this is a fan game made in Game Maker. So this was made from the ground up. Yes. Which is and an achievement. I'm, I'm trying to find out. This came out, the last update was in 2017, but I don't know when the first update was. Hmm. So it, it had been worked on fairly recently, but... With that said, you know, the, this is... Uh, I don't know. It's a mystery. It's a mystery, but yeah, if you're making a fan game, you can go ahead and, like, the excuse for why things work don't work properly is that you are a fan who made a game. Uh, yeah, and That yeah. is completely acceptable. That is a fine excuse in my book. Yeah, if you're ever a fan who makes a Mega Man game, please let me know. I would yes. want to play it. So, yeah, right, I, right. I do see that apparently this was designed at one point to work on Windows 2012. So there was it, a Windows it, 2012? I think so. Really? For that, I guess. Uh -huh. Huh. The server OS, I believe that is the server OS, yes. Oh, okay. Ah, White Panther demonstrating that Hurricane Man's Mega Man Thresher is still alive and well. That is the hardest jump in the game, to my knowledge. So, yeah. we'll see so, if uh, fourth time is the charm for White Panther. It's a little tricky, but I don't know, there might be ways to, <laughs> we to weasel your way through it. But yeah, yeah I, I see that it looks like this game originally came out in 2012. It was created oh, by cool. someone. Negative one, apparently, was the person who made it. Who also made oh, it... Super Koopa Bros, Super Craft Man, Interesting. Dragon Man. Uh, credited as, I think, uh, Medihu in this one. Ah. Or Medihu, sorry, Medihu in this one. With oh, okay. some, like, uh, liberal use of numbers. 
I'm interested in super craft man, although if it's like craft macaroni and cheese, I'm less interested. Oh, man. It was uh, earlier this week was uh, mac and cheese day. I will be celebrating it today. Homemade mac and cheese, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, what are the standings? Uh, so far, White Panther is in the lead, followed uh, closely behind by uh, Great Gilder Sneeze, and then we have uh, Lumbo in third, and Hazel Shade in fourth, still wrestling with Warp Man. It's He's okay. Like, if Hazel Shade has an extra life, all you have to do is do a damage race against Warp Man, and you'll mm. be able to do it. Playing this like it's a real game, don't do that, Hazel Shade. That's yeah, the way no, that you no. lose. Just, 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 just damage keep shooting. Race. Just keep shooting. Yep. I think Hazel Shade has figured it out. I, yeah, Hazel Shade's got this. I, yeah. I think that she's going to be moving on to the second stage soon. There we go, White uh -huh. Panther clearing Hurricane, man. I'm saying Hurricane because why not? Because there's a town in like, Utah like, named like, Hurricane. And oh, it's spelled Hurricane. Like, 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 like the game, like, you know, Hurricane and Super Hurricane. Like the the, the, the platformer guy who has, like, a big gun? It's, it's Turkin. Yeah. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Hurricane. That, yeah, different <laughs> hero there. Okay, it looks like Gilder is fighting Sludge Man and is doing a actually better job than I did of dodging the bombs. I it's, think yeah, Gilder just... might get it. There we go. And on to Hurricane Man. Yeah, people are making people are making some like positive Real progress. progress. White Panther this has is escaped great. Hurricane Man's Mega Man pressure. Same. On to Feather Man, who's just an act just an actual bird. That's just the bird. It's a bird. Just it's not a, a literal man. bird. Maybe he was just a dragon, but he was still Trogdor, you know? Mm. But yeah, like, no, there, there's a town in Utah that is spelled Hurricane, but they just pronounce it Hurricane. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, you pronounce but, that's the way you want, that's fine. Yeah, in Regional the Western dialect. U.S., we just mispronounce everything. That's how we live our lives here. Like, Worcester, Sauce, Wor Worcester, West, uh, Wor something, West, oh, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, you just say That's it wrong, like. and, like, the worse that you pronounce that word, the more correct you are. That's just no, how No, worst is. is a kind of sausage, not a sauce. That's probably It's almost, almost the same, but yeah. Huh. Oh, there we go, Gilder got over some of the spikes there. Although, no, why right. did the pit nope. just appear? Well, okay. Okay, so yeah, it's not a pit. It's a ground, except part of it is spikes, and you can't see where it is because the camera doesn't show you. <laughs> Thank you, camera. This game is <laughs> fair and well balanced. Yeah. Genie asks, do you think we'll get Wily stages? It's possible. It's a possibility. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised. By the way, thank you, everybody. I know that we have a good Twitch crowd today for all of you who are yeah. watching later on YouTube. You Hello. can always come over to twitch.tv slash Presentia. We have the live matches, usually on the weekends, but also we appreciate you coming and watching the VODs. Yeah, I'm talking to future people. This is weird. Yeah, it's Hi, great. Future. I love it. It's always important to talk to the viewers who are watching you from the present and the future. If this is like the year 2180 when Mega Mans are all over the place, then I'm probably oh, not streaming anymore. I gotta be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's like 2180 is pretty far. Like, yeah. Although I could be ahead yeah. in a jar. Like, I. Here's the deal, Sandra. Uh, because I've joked about this before, but like, I, I oh, have in some the chronic stomach pain, stomach issues that oh, no. we're trying to figure out. And honestly, being mm. ahead in a jar might be fine. I'm not hmm. sure I would be opposed to that. Especially if you gave me, like, robot arms that I could control with my brain. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I would be oh, more no. powerful than any of you could imagine. And then you oh, could just thing, put, like a, like, a burrito uh, into my <laughs> head jar every once in a while and just chomp down. I, 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 yeah, or just, like, maybe at this point, it's like, I don't know, it depends on, like, what what's your sci-fi poison of choice, but, like, I appreciate a lot of, um... <laughs> Plumbo, like, you uh, can get I, out! I swear. Yep. Goodbye. Good luck. It's like maybe at, maybe at that point in that kind of like sci-fi setting is like no, just yeah, just run it. Just run burrito.exe, and it'll be give you the experience of eating a burrito without actually having to eat it. Yeah, like do you like I I like eating burritos, okay, but I'm also fine 
having a burrito mm. simulation. Oh. oh, okay, so I have a question. Do you have taste memory? Can you close your eyes, think about eating a burrito, and like actually like get a, a reasonable facsimile of like of Occasionally that I actually can replicate flavors. Uh it's not it's not a hundred percent certain, but every mm. once in a while, yes, I can like get it spot on. And yeah, because apparently that's not it's like uh aphantasia. Like not everyone can actually like picture something in their mind. Yeah, that's every not, once like, a while, in while I can case. do a perfect imagination of flavors that I have, yes. Mm. But it's oh, not no. every it's not always and it's not every flavor. Like chicken mm. and a biscuit. I can actually bring back pretty easily. I had those mm. a lot as a kid. <laughs> There's like there was a there was like a video at some point that really blew my mind. Like, hey, every single surface you've touched, you can also imagine yourself like licking. Like it's the same sense. It's like, yeah, you can like you've never licked a tire, but you can close your Are eyes you and imagine. Sure, I haven't. See, you're making I, a lot. I am of... not. I'm making a lot of a broad, a broad assumptions. This is this is true. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love it when games have I licked let a tire? You... I know that I've licked like <laughs> rubber on a shoe before. <laughs> I I love I I just absolutely love some of the like my favorite kind of fan game jank is like weird platformer physics where sometimes the game will like you will land, you will hear the landing sound, your character appears to have landed and then proceeds to fall off the platform because the game says, you know what? No, you didn't actually land on this platform. You were too close to the edge to fly. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, Gilder got past the falling area with the spikes, but I'm glad about yeah. with this fan game. A lot of games try oh. to make those areas a little bit Oof. too difficult, but this fan game actually makes it kind of reasonable. Except this one. This is the hardest jump in the game. Let's see if Gilder does it. Yeah! One try, baby. Not that first try. I... Yeah, it's good. It's it's either you get it first try or you die like you know repeatedly. <laughs> All right, it's Hurricane <laughs> Man time. Yeah. Oh, apparently well, that was second out. try. Gotcha. Oh, okay. okay. Hurricane Man. Th this isn't too bad of a boss. It's, uh, it's actually yeah. weak to one of your weapons though, so it's worth experimenting yep. a little bit. But at the same time, I think Gilder's gonna kill this dude. Yeah. 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 Uh, there yep. goes Hurricane there you go. Man. And Gilder moving on to Feather Man, it's close to a tie yeah. between White Panther and Gilder. It's real close, and uh, Hazel Shade has not figured out that you can use Warp Man. Oh my gosh, Spirit Man has summoned the Ghost Dragon. No, Hazel! Hazel, oh my gosh, Spirit Man, he's trying to kill you! No! Kill you with the giant dragon! I actually didn't know Spirit Man could do that. That was cool. Yeah. Okay. If, if you, Hazel Shade, if you take off. try to use Warp Man's there ability, and honestly, it does so much damage. It's like, so much damage. It's absolute. I'm really glad that you at least gave one weapon that players can yeah. use early on. See, I, I wanted it to be the first to lull them into a false sense of security, but also because Spirit Man's a bit of a jerk, and this thing yeah. is kind of boring. It's just dark for some reason, so I figured, yeah, I might as well start with a softball. It, it's yeah. like. In the Kuso Grande match, it's easy to get, like, I mean, you, you, you've said this multiple times, it's easy to get to psych yourself out and think you're behind. So I think in a game, like in a Mega Man game, if I can give them a couple of easy wins, it'll, like, give them some confidence, and then we'll get to see more of the, more of the, like, the game. Honestly, yeah, I think that, uh, especially early on, you know, there, there needs to be, a, well, unless you're really mean like me, uh, but giving players at least a chance to feel like they've done something, like they've made some progress. Mm. Uh, you know, Cusa Grande doesn't have to be all about pain, and honestly, there are plenty of games out there <laughs> that, you know... Oh my gosh. It's a, it's a great thing to say. What a great, what a great thing. It doesn't I have to be I forgot what I was going to talk about because I just saw that scythe flying all around. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Cat, Final Cat points out, uh, Hazel did not save. Hopefully, Hazel will Between remember Between levels, it's not train. as big of a deal. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. going to the shop. Okay. No, that's, it. that's the other, other button. The other button to save. No, that's that's still the shop. That's still the shop. Uh-huh. Hey, made Yay, it. Okay, thank game. goodness. You gotta, yeah, it's, yeah, I kept you back to, okay. Yeah, I, like, 
honestly, just because the game is bad doesn't mean that it's necessarily enjoy unenjoyable. And just because yeah. it's jank doesn't mean that it's necessarily quote-unquote bad. In fact, I would say that mm -hmm. this game, like, is really on the border of, like, it, it's very playable. It, it feels jank. But at the same time, mm -hmm. uh, every minute that I was playing this, I was having fun. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping a close eye on Black Panther and Great Elder Sneeze, who are tied in the stage. It, it all depends on, like, who gets furthest first. I, I, I think, also... Yeah, the, mm, uh, the temptation of really that. I really appreciate... Uh, yeah, I, I see White Panther thinking about it. You gonna try? Mm -hmm. uh... I think there are ways that you could, like, manipulate the scythe to get that, but... Whatever, it's yeah. probably not gonna matter right now. Mm. Yeah, the panda is dead. That's right. Long live the panda. Nope, didn't right. live very long. <laughs> Actually, it didn't live at all. It was a robot. That's true. Well, well, that's uh, that's there's there's a. Hmm. There's, look, then there we, we get into like, well, dude, how do we? This do is <laughs> not. Okay, look, you might be able to make that argument when it comes to Data from Star Trek The Next Generation, mm -hmm. but when it comes to that panda that jumps up and down shooting bullets out of its stomach, I think we can argue that it was never alive. That's that's a fair point. Like, it is possible that this might be, like, a oh, sentient... Oh, got the energy tank and died. That's fine. Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and say, everybody, I can pretty much guarantee that no emotion or ability to feel pain was programmed into that panda. You don't know that for sure. A lot of these I robots have been programmed to feel the pain. Code. I think we can look oh. into the code and we'll pretty oh, easily actually, see that. Yeah, yeah you're correct, yeah. <laughs> Man, how, okay, that would be so much work though, to like program like your enemies to actually like, you know, you know, like on paper, like have an inner monologue and actually like, you know, to, like express pain when they're shot, but no one ever gets to see it because you're not actually like seeing inside their head. See, that would be messed up. I feel like if I programmed something that had some behind the scenes work, I would probably find a way to make my programming feel pain. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's go ahead and fight like mm. dwarf fortress. That that's pretty true. Oh my gosh, like the trauma that, that d the dwarves have is that yeah, being the real? Tantrums. No, because like yeah. you can just. Like, right. oh yeah, um, it, no, it's it, it's not quite real. Mm. It is it is completely something that you can, like, hmm. I don't know what is real. Dwarf Fortress, though, I would yeah. say has more trauma than most robots. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. I I'm content with not actually playing Dwarf Fortress, but just reading the patch notes. I love playing Dwarf Fortress, and honestly, <laughs> like, uh, I'm compl I completely understand people who don't, because it took me like a mm. full eight-hour day of work in order to figure out how to even play it. Uh, mm. And simply, but when when you take eight hours to learn the basic control, yeah, the the clouds <gasps> were coming. Oh. oh, White Panther's about to face. Eight Feather hours me. to learn the basic controls. Okay, right, Featherman. Oh, oh yeah, Feather so uh, oh, look at his feathers. There's, there's a fun... Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, Joltman's weapon actually pretty good. There's, um... One of the weapons... Like, Hurricane Man's weapon, at first blush... Good work, White Panther. Nice! Lead, but Hurricane Man's weapon shoots three little tornadoes below you. Like, that's it. It is very awkward to use. It However, sucks. it's very powerful against certain enemies, which you will probably not find out because, again, it's very awkward to use, but... It gives you a tiny little vertical push. If you shoot it just as you jump, you get a bigger jump. Why the quick man? Why not? No, we Welcome already had quick Sagrande. man music today. I don't like him. <laughs> quick man, die. Here's the deal. I hope quick Yoink. man is programmed to feel pain because he's gonna <laughs> feel it. It is a pretty good track though. Okay, it's fine. Mm. Da, 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 it's da, just da. that YouTube really wants me to listen to Quick Man, like, always. Oh, yeah, it's like one of those things that keeps coming back up. 
all yeah. the time. I've got it. I've got it on shuffle. I've got over 700 songs, but apparently, Quick Man is like one out of three Ooh. of those songs. <laughs> and you know what? Actually, I wouldn't be surprised. If, oh yeah, here's my favorite part with the clouds Hi, here. Hi. Hello. Hello, clouds. Hi specifically to this ball. Hi to this hi orb ball. only. Mega Man, hi I'm orb. not saying hi to you. I'm saying hi to this orb. Hey, this is Portal Man. <laughs> I want you to see this ball. No. <laughs> I flew a plane, uh. put a message for you. Oh, look at this ball. <laughs> is this like Proto Bad or is like I, I forget how that like No, it's sure. strong it's strong it's it's like the strong, no, right, right. Strong is the one that always comes back. So it's like, so it's, it's strong proto. That doesn't work. Nah, I don't know. Yeah. See, Mega strong Star man is also another thing that actually exists. Like, oh yeah, strong. They, there was, there. I mean, I, I have actually like given uh, a Mega Man fan game. In this one, where like all the, all the boss names were puns. Oh yeah. Yeah, like Hitman, Anchorman, stuff like that. Anyway, here's uh, that guy who's always in the memes, like, about to beat up Bane. <laughs> what is this dude? It's like Angry Mothman. He's Psych Man. He's, he's, oh, his power is too too great for you to comprehend with your puny mechanical mind. Man. <laughs> Blade Man. Galaxy Blade Man. Yeah, White Panther is really rocking it. Holy crap. Yeah, taking a lot of the damage. Like, I don't think White Panther is going to get it on this attempt, but at the same time, <laughs> you have infinite ammo. Ooh, you gonna lives. use the E tank? How do you use the yep. E tank? Oh, you press oh. E on the screen. You press. Do you have to click it? Oh, no, you actually you, you press the E key. There's like a couple. You have like a three keys on your um, keyboard dumb. dedicated to using these items. It's you know it's like how how else are you gonna do it? It's when you don't have it when you clearly ha do not have a cursor system anywhere else in this game. You're just like well I guess I'll just use a bunch of keys. It's what works. Well, White Panther actually didn't need to use it, but it was a good safety so that White Panther could guarantee beating that yeah. level. I I would say just better like safe than sorry. You know. Yeah, the ultimate flex. You're about <laughs> to you're about to destroy a boss Steve. and you just like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, oh, refreshing. About 90% sure Ember Man is Minecraft Steve. Just spit it out there. <laughs> Minecraft Steve Man. <laughs> yeah, everyone in chat saying like, yes, this is officially a Mega Man game now because you used an E-Tank and then didn't get a hit. Yep. So this stage is like... I like this music, you... but I don't know what it is. It's good, yeah. I forget, I forget. I don't, I don't, I didn't play the classics repeatedly quite enough to actually learn like which which music which track is which oh is this pheromone stage interesting okay see this is this stage is made way easier by virtue of using the additional extra like jump oomph you get from hurricane man's weapon but you why would you ever use it because it's such a bad weapon Always blush. try stuff out. That, especially when you have unlimited ammo, there's no reason to not be switching around. Mm. Especially if you're dying a lot. Well, yeah, which, I don't know why switching. Panther is not dying a lot, so... No, just, just a regular amount. Fine. Normal amount. Normal no, amount. I don't like this. I don't like that. No, no, yeah, isn't it no, great? No, not one bit! <laughs> Oh, that was stressful. Yay! Emberman's so happy. Emberman. My name's Emberman. Wait, I guess... No, JK, I'm Portal Man. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Try to Set think. Set us aflame, you're Emberman. You're an Set Emberman. Set us on fire tonight. Or like this afternoon. But this afternoon doesn't really fit Gilder with the meter. fighting a feather man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Gilder again Furious is flying. getting very Feathers close to catching now. up. Hey. And there we go, Featherman is down. Yeah, Gilder is like on the hot on the heels of White Panther. So, um, like one level. This is like a round. Fine. We're still in round one, right? Yes. Perfect. So it, it's still anybody's game. No matter who wins, they don't lose. Yeah. Yeah. We do not eliminate players in Kusagrani until the end of their oh. second game. 
In which case, in general, uh, as it has been in the past, if they haven't scored at least 12 points, they are eliminated. Uh, so whoever comes in first this match will get 10 points, second gets 7, third gets 5, and fourth gets 2. So even if they come in fourth, mm. if they come in first their second match, then they are still in the tournament. And Gilder got greedy! Ah, uh, Gilder's Can't like go really that way. I I love that it's like, up. hey, you could try sliding through here. You could. Okay, this mini boss, by the way, in a bit of a bug. <laughs> yep. I yeah. Don't know uh, what Ember it is. Man stage has a regular enemy that's literally from Mega Man's like Mega Man Zero Game Boy Advance. Just just straight up in here. Does not fit the color scheme, the bits, none at all. Just there. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. It shows up once, never again. It might show up in the Wily stages. Do, 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 do. So how many hits do you think it takes to defeat this boss when you're using its weakness? Uh... Like... Two? Yep. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> actually two? Oh my gosh, yep. what's the weakness? Yep. Yep. Uh, it's, well, which one do you think? It's the Hurricane Man. It's why you, you would have it be a flame. Hurricane Man? Why? Because because you oh. have an open flame and you go, <sighs> you blow on it with the Hurricane. Because oh. Hurricane Man is wind and water together. It's perfect to deal with anything like fire related. You know, it's basic. That, that is Mega Man weakness 101, which is turns, not guaranteed to work at all. As it turns out, a lot of the time, adding oxygen to an open flame. Not the best idea. That's true. But uh, unless you're trying like to gale... make the fire bigger. That's true. But if it's like gale force winds that are also wet, I think, I think then you got a chance at putting. I think it, it depends on how big the how big the fire is. No, uh, that's true. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, at this point, with a lot of moisture inside it, I'll go ahead and agree with you. Mm. You put yeah, moisture it's like in hurt. there. Yeah, Arcade Man is probably the first wind and water boss I've ever seen in a Mega Man game. I think that's. By the way, Gilder just wrecked Psych Man. Yeah. Psych Man down onto Take Ember that. Man. We may have Gilder coming for a challenge Whoa. trying to move into first place. Let's see how the Great Gilder Sneeze does. White Panther is in first right now, but how long <laughs> will this last? We'll find but out. But will it last? I don't know. Will it? Will it blend? Will it do anything? <laughs> What's it gonna do? I'm just waiting, I'm just waiting. Just waiting for... What am I waiting for? For By the way, I'm trying to, to just try find... I'm trying to find just a picture of Featherman. If, if anybody has like a good screenshot of Featherman or something, uh, I would love <laughs> to have one of those because... Featherman's good. Yeah. Mega Man dust, don't breathe it. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you, chat. You have made me happy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is very enjoyable so far. It's a, it's a fun one. It's a fun one. It's got lots of, like, creativity. I, I really enjoyed playing this, you know? The, the biggest thing that you have to get used to, one, uh... I generally do not recommend playing this on controller because that, or mm. on keyboard, that is a nightmare. Oh, yeah. uh, try yeah. either use Joy to Key oh, or use Steam's built in function. Oh my gosh, Gilder onto the mini boss as well. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a we'll straight up try. tie between White Panther and the Gilder sneeze. Uh, and because of that, it's. I don't know if Gilder will try other weapons. I think both of them yeah. have pretty much tried to not do that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if neither of them beat this oh, boss, or the mini boss, White Panther got there first and would take the victory. But well, I have but a feeling somebody is going to figure this out. Wait, White Panther White got Panther just did. Yeah, well, absolutely. Okay, mind, then. Barely survived. Now on to Amber Man. Boss. It's Amber Man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> game over. Unfortunately, White Panther's game gonna have over, to play man. the whole level again. This is what happens when you yep. run out of extra lives. Yep. And that means also having to face that boss again. 
Game over, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I seriously Ash want- Ash Quig, as says the pause screen. Aw, uh, yeah. My favorite Mega Man pause screen is from Mega Man DOS 3. Or Mega Man 3 DOS, because it, uh, the... The letters for the weapons reads as PBS Walt, which just seems like it's a public broadcasting TV station. I think it is. <laughs> oh, it is okay. You have the quote. You actually yeah. have the quote. Perfect. It's important. It is. Why do we have a quote specifically for that from Mega Man <laughs> DOS? Because apparently it sticks with people. Yeah. <laughs> well, everybody, Cusa Grande, the bad video game tournament oh. is in its oh, seventh year. Oh, Gilder's Knees got it. Gilder is Gilder's past knees. the mini boss. Yes. yes. Gilder's Knees figured out the weakness. Yeah, oh my gosh, what you do. this could... Like, if it comes down to the boss and both of them have made it to mm -hmm. the boss, we can very easily gauge who has done more damage. Mm -hmm. So at this point, Gilder has the chance. All right, time for Amberman, who's kind of a jerk. But if you use his weakness, it just goes down easy. Yeah. Okay, Gilder has done some good hits. What's his weakness, by the way? Hurricane Man? Uh, hurricane. Yeah, Hurricane. I mean, of course it is. Ooh, oh, Gilder use the, use using an E-Tank. E -tank. That Judicious is very use of much e -tank. a good move, because I think this is going to be enough to kill yep. Amberman. And Gilder. Gilder is officially in the yeah. lead, moving on to the Wily stages. Wily. Oh, yeah. we get to see Wily. Perfect. I'm so happy. Like, honestly... This is really exciting. Let's go! Did you blink and you miss it? That was that was Wily's castle. Map. Let's go. Anyway, let's just revisit a bunch of the stages we saw. S like, you know, stacked on top of each other. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that panda so much, it's so rude. I don't like enemies that read your inputs. I think that's rude. <laughs> oh, well, it's bye. a little rude. A little rude. I'll agree with you. The music oh, no! is so good. And there goes Made Gilder. it to the end. Made that, it to the okay. last screen of the Wily stage. That Wily stage specifically, but then fell into the spikes. And White Panther still not, still has not found the weakness of the uh, Dragon Gear, I guess. Uh, the mid bosses are not named in this game. But you can just pick up, come up with your own. Like, you can just imagine what the actual name of the weapons are. Like, I, like, like, the Spirit Reaper, or stuff like that. You just, you just come up with your own fun name. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, let me see, let me see. Okay, Gilder going down. This is kind of fun that each section is a section from one of the previous levels that Isn't you it? went through. Oh my right, god. that's really clever. Such cool ideas, not the okay. best ex Oh, everybody likes dragons, Here we go. right? Yep, it's it's dragon time from Mega Man. Oh, again, this is Super Mega Man 2, so any Mega Man 2 player will recognize what this means. By the way, yeah, it looks like currently Gilder is in the lead, White Panther second, Plumbo mm. in third, Hazel Shade in fourth. I believe this is Hazel's uh, first Cusa Grande, so I'm like, I'm not oh, too no. surprised. Uh, mm. You know, a, a lot of new players. Uh, you know, it, it's a flip of the coin if you're gonna do great or if you're gonna have struggles, and yeah, uh, so it, it's not a huge deal, you know. You're you're learning how hmm. to play the game, and Gilder using another E tank always yeah. a good idea. Oh, oh baby, come on. Yeah. Also, uh, the bosses like uh, like fireballs get progressively bigger as its health goes down, and I think that's a neat little touch. That's I think that's neat. Cute. Yeah. Okay, that was not the cute dragon. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, apologies to your this eyeballs. This is folks. ugly. Okay, this I'm going to go ahead and say rock. that this is not the best I've yeah. seen. White Panther is through the boss onto Wily 1. Hey! 
Can you believe it? Wiley. We have two players on to Wily stages. Yeah. This is hot, hot, hot. All right, it's time to fight Mr. Taco once more. Mr. Taco? Uh, Taco is a uh, Japanese. Oh for, yeah, uh, yeah, the, the octopus squid dude. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, Gilbert da, 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 is out da, da, of extra da, da, life, da, da, da. but I believe there is a checkpoint here, so it's not a huge deal. Oh yeah, fireball to the face! As long as that is not oh, Gilbert's yeah, is. last life. Oh, that wasn't a checkpoint. Okay. Da, 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 da. I love this. This is like we have the Wily Fortress theme from Mega Man 2, which is so good. It's so good. That's why everything uses it. Mm. It's like that and Flash Man from Mega Man 2. Yeah. Those are the two, like, nobody cares about Quick Man compared to those two. <laughs> you get two seconds of the Wily map. All right, whatever, you know, you know the deal, let's go. I know where we go. Why delay? This is Mega Man. This isn't Mega uh, uh, Road Trip, you um... know? Yeah. Well, this is this has been a lot of fun to watch, by the way. I'm I'm loving this, and I feel like I'm Hazel so Shade, even though she has been struggling, she has not quit. Uh, she is yeah, still absolutely. playing and trying to get through this. Plumbo also, mm. I believe, is new to the tournament and has not quit. White Panther and Gilder are both veterans when it comes to Cusa Grande, and both of them uh, doing very, very well. I, I feel like the best way to prepare for a Mega Man game like this is honestly just playing a variety of games, uh, even though, here's the deal, this is a Mega Man fan game, so it does break a few of the rules, but that doesn't, at the end of the day, that really doesn't matter if you're, if you're, oh my gosh, Gilder used Hurricane, okay. Any hits? Oh, nope. oh, oh. Yeah, I just gotta... Just gotta get a couple of hits. Yeah, there we go. There we go, it did it. There's, there's a, even, there's a music video. Even though it breaks video. a lot of the rules, uh, at the same time, mm. if you learn how to play uh, real Mega Man games, not that this isn't real, this was made by somebody. Uh, if, oh, you yeah. if you learn how to play official Mega Man games, you'll learn a lot of the tricks with uh, how to get mm -hmm. through various fan games. Uh, because, you yeah, know. And sometimes, sometimes these fan games will then trick you and use your knowledge against you. Yep. Which is great. I enjoy that. But honestly, I'd say that the more knowledge you have, the better off you'll be, like, 99% mm -hmm. of the time. You just have to realize, you know, be a little bit flexible, unlearn things that you learn from the uh, actual games, and you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, it's always oh, Blue Proto Man again. Blue Proto Man, how dare you come and distract me from my job, my job of killing Dr. Wiley. Does Dr. Wiley have any emotions? Oh no, the song reset at the best part. Uh, Dr. Wiley, yes, has one emotion, and that is trying to take over the world, and for some reason, everyone keeps giving him second chances. Oh, he can't possibly, like, try to take over the world a 15th time. That's not gonna happen. Let's just uh, let him out. By the way, hello, Radicoon. Great to see you. I have no! seen you do a speed oh. runs of Tunic several times, and I love oh, them. It's so good, good to see you in chat. Same way. Yeah. Uh, All right, Blue oh, Proto Man. Rematch against Blue, Blue Proto, Proto Man. Man. Oh my gosh, who's yeah. gonna win? Blue Proto Man or Mega Man? There we go. Oh, no, okay. Gilder Sneeze managing to get hit by the by Blue Proto Man's final explosion of death. But that's fine. Well, no. No, my yeah, pet. All right, falling. here we go. Oh, we're, we're we get to, to see my favorite mid boss. Look at this. Look <laughs> what at this is lad. this guy? <laughs> oh my gosh. Guy. Okay, I love Look him. Look at this chonker. I'm in love with this chonker. Absolute unit. Game over. I'm, I'm glad oh. the chat is asking how Mega Man 2 made it into Cusa Grande. I don't know. Mega <laughs> Man's. Do you think Mega Man is a good game? Do you think Mega Wait. Man is a good game? Wow. Yeah, I mean, like, like, you know, like, if you, you thought Mega Man 2 was good, wait until you see Super Mega Man 2. Yeah, this is that, Super Mega Man 2 for the now. PC. Yeah. And we've got 10 seconds left. We are just right at the end here. Mm -hmm. So this has been an exciting match. 
Hopefully we get to talk to somebody. I hit it right at the hour. Let's go, everybody. Woo-hoo! That is go. time. Please don't be quick, man. Good. <laughs> good, good, good. Well, we've uh... got a very clear order here. The Great Gilder's Knees takes yep. first. White Panther second, Plumbo making it to Featherman in third, and Hazel Shade, very strong effort, coming in fourth. Mm. Nobody is eliminated at this point because why? Uh, why would they be? It's round one. I don't yeah, want to eliminate exactly. it. Everybody math, gets math, at least two bad games. Wonderful. Yeah. <sighs> Incredible. What, what, I'm what inviting Gilder to come and chat if he would like because Gilder is the victor today. <laughs> and here we have Gilder. Congratulations, you're muted on Discord, so feel free to unmute when you're ready. You are today's victor, making it to Wiley 2. Congratulations, Gilder. This was an absolute blast. Yeah. <laughs> you're still muted if you're trying to talk to me. It's it's, it's oh, maybe fine. Gilder. Just... Gilder, like, maybe Gilder's sneezing. What a match. Oh, oh, goodbye. Okay. Oh, trying to. Hello there, oh, Gilder. Hey. Welcome back. Joined on the wrong freaking Discord. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> there we oh, are. Oh, my gosh. Good. Yeah, Gilder, Two congratulations. You win. What? You took yeah. first. Dude, nuts. I thought I was doing I terribly. Uh, and my thumb no, hurt. you were doing amazing. White Panther was actually ahead of you for a lot of the time, but then mm-hmm. Emberman is where you made the comeback. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oof, Featherman yeah. was giving me fits. <laughs> that it's, stage. It's oh. a, yeah, it's a rough <laughs> one. But you you did you did what no one else did, and you figured out uh, like snake gear or dragon gear's weakness, and that put you. I solid guessed record. like on every bar, like, <laughs> For the first time, I think for almost all the robot masters, I was like, all right, you know, screw it. The buster just seems effective. I'm just going to mash him down. It's pretty good. Uh, and then I remembered I had an E-Tank and on, uh, oh God, which one was it that was going to kill me? There was oh, one that I was I, almost, I, I think it was five. I believe it, it Ember was yeah. Emberman. And I saw that you used an E-Tank on the dragon boss, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, well, it was an experiment because like, I dragon. got those E-Tanks in Featherman stage, but I died a bunch of times in game over. And I was like, I have no idea if those saved because you can't see them on the, the pause menu. So I was very no, confused. Yeah, you can't, yeah, you, yeah. The, I mean, at least this game has a functional pause, well, it's True. serviceable pause menu. <laughs> no, it plays, it plays a lot like Mega Man. The lack of coyote time was murdering me. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. God, there is zero coyote There's time. There's none. Uh, so not, not even a that, frame. But, like, it, it feels like if you jumped, like, Jumping always felt like there was a little bit of a delay or something. When yeah. I oh, played yeah. this it's... game, I usually tried to jump from a standstill instead of pushing a direction mm-hmm. first. That way I could guarantee that I got a jump off. Oh, yeah. That was... <laughs> oh, yeah. It's good my mic was muted for the entire <laughs> game. No one no would have heard some four-letter words that weren't mega. <laughs> I, I, got, I wonder, though, did you enjoy the game overall? I actually, yeah, I'll probably finish it out on stream eventually. Maybe tonight, who knows? Ooh, nice. okay. It's, That's always exciting. I'd actually say that the bosses coming up are kind of interesting. Like, hmm. uh, there's some really cool mechanics that are coming up, and you're, you're going to start seeing the creativity uh, that came with this person who made the game. Uh, and yeah, honestly, I'll, I'll I'd, I'd say that... With weapons and not be like, I just got to go fast. I don't have time to switch weapons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the same time, switching weapons is what sort of helped you out, especially with the yeah, weird little magma worm. I gotta do things. I gotta try something. <laughs> I, was running, like, I was running out of health to get to, uh, uh, I guess, the Gutsman stand-in. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah, that wonderful chonker. That uh, thing. I, I, I have He's a question. A big boy. <laughs> Which one was your favorite robot master? Oh, gosh. I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> It was like most of them were just a big. I think um, it would be Hurricane Man, honestly, because it was one of the, that one came down to the wire. It was a tense fight because I did that not. That was a good. Yeah, that was pretty tense. Oh yeah. So he was he was coming down from above with the uh, with the shot, and I was like, uh, do, do I try another gun? Nope, screw it. Buster's working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, right, that ended up being pretty rough. The thing is, Hurricane Man actually does have a weakness that you had. I, I believe it's. Oh yeah. <laughs> What uh, weapon yes, is it? The scythe? 
Joe Joe Bad. Joe Bad because I think it's an awful Man weapon is, and I hate it. Yep, you know, but it, it is it does it does it has it has a function. But yeah, like because Hurricane Man is water and wind, gotcha. and therefore like head in the clouds, conductive to, like via water. There's so Joe Man electricity. Right, I think right. like two shots him, but this. The, other one that was, the one that was frustrating, and I think I tried, I can't remember whose stage I tried it. It might have been Featherman. I was trying to see if I could get um, Warp Man's thing to get me a little bit forward. Yeah. I yeah. tried that like yeah. twice, and I was like, well, if it hits the edge of the screen, it doesn't do anything. And if it hits that pillar just ahead, I'm just going to fall in the pit. So I yep. just kind of tossed that idea to the it's, side. It's a really cool concept. The Warp Man weapon is really, really cool, but it's also extremely dangerous. Yeah, so I've noticed. <laughs> yeah, I... I actually used that quite a bit on Jolt Man stage when I was doing the climb because uh, mm. if, if you hit a wall, you'll warp to it. But if you like, if it hits the edge of the screen, you won't. Uh, but in mm. in that regard, when you're doing the climb in Jolt Man, you have constant walls on both sides during the climb. So if you shot mm. it, you could reliably guarantee, yes, I am going to warp, and thus uh, I'll have an idea of where I'm going to be exactly. Uh, so for me, that chat. ended up working. Yeah, you can. Hang on, hang on. I, think say hello in hello, chat. I saw some of your fans over here cheering for oh, you. And they're, they're happy with how that. you did. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy with how I did. Heck, I, did, I, like, I seriously, I thought I was in dead last the whole time just because I screwed up <laughs> so bad on... Uh, like the first stage was just absolutely killing me. I was learning the, uh, the Coyote yeah, time crap. Yeah, it kind it of destroyed you. Happy. I would agree. I was like, oh, yeah, poor Gilbert. Up, up, I was like, it's not going to happen. So, <laughs> yeah. I figured everybody else was like way ahead of me. But, um, cool. Well, good game I, I do have to ask you. Your... Like, really mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, I know that you have your own projects going on. You you run Bad yeah. Game Theater, uh, occasionally now, now finding the games. Tank. The Jank yeah. Tank. Choo choo. Yes. Wait, no. Trying to move away from the pejorative of bad when I'm talking about this. Because that like mm -hmm. limits me to specifically games that actually suck. With the Jank Tank, I can open it up to games that are a little less loved, but still kind of cool. Maybe some weird mechanics or some half mechanics, but still the, like really fun games. Yeah. I'm of the opinion that bad doesn't mean unfun. Of course, Cusa Grande, Cusa has a lot of different meanings, uh, yeah, including sure. jank and weird and stuff. Um, I, yep. I think that's fine. That's I, I call this it. the bad video game tournament, but in my opinion, bad isn't necessarily unfun. Not and that, really that sort of no, is yeah. my experience that's, with this game. Thing. Yeah. As long as it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Gilder definitely uh, plays a lot of weird games if you want to go and check <laughs> it out. Especially you've been doing a lot of Steam games. And I know that I you're have. working on some possible big bad game a thon submissions. And you know, maybe minute speedruns too. Who knows? Maybe I found a whole bunch of other games that you can beat in five minutes or less. Uh, you know, maybe last one year, is that greatest. was so yeah. much fun. I loved it. Maybe one is the greatest bad game in history where you probably think you're out of bounds the entire game, but you're actually winning. Um, <laughs> I don't want to give away the, that the secret too much, but man alive, that is a game. <laughs> <laughs> that is great to know. I, I'm excited to see As some it? of what you have. I, I really like to go in uh, a little bit without seeing too much, so I'll definitely go and check out submissions. Everybody, if you want to submit to Big That's Bad Game of right. they're open until the end of the month. And... Uh, yeah, go check out Gilder if you've never seen any of his streams. We raid it every once in a while, so you probably have seen him if you've been around here for a while. Well, I think that's pretty much all that I have. Anything else that you need to plug or say, Gilder? That's about it. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and congratulations. And for everybody who played it, congratulations on putting on a great show. This was a lot of fun to watch today. Yeah. Well, take Alrighty. care, Xandra. Take care, Gilder. I'll see both of you yeah, take later. Care, all of you. Take Bye. care, Bye. Well, everybody, before we move on to match number two, I'm going to go ahead and run a quick little ad and run to the restroom. Go and grab yourself a drink or whatever, and we will be back. See you in about a minute. <laughs>